I deal with this as an OB and I dealt with it as a mom. I would actually wean my son when I was in my residency, just start, well actually, no, medical school, just starting my, uh, my surgery oh. thing. So I had bound breasts and I was leaking while I was oh. trying to do surgery. But what no you have fine. to think about is the breast. If you don't stimulate it, then the milk's <clears throat> going to go down. So you don't want any sort of nipple stimulation. Even though if sometimes women, and a lot of you women experience this, if you hear a baby cry, mm -hmm. you may have letdown. And that's prolactin. Prolactin is the hormone that activates those glands to let down the milk. Okay, I've got a great little prop here. If you think about this as a breast with a, a, a milk duct here, so that these are the milk ducts. And if you stimulate the breast, and this is why you want to decrease stimulation, then the milk is going to keep coming out. And it's going to come out more and more and more. If you just think about this as like a, a, a milk spout, basically. So the more you stimulate it, the more that um, the milk is going to come out. So that's why you want to stop breastfeeding, or at least decreasing it slowly. Some women will bind their breasts, especially if you're trying to do it quickly. You can use anti-inflammatories to help as well. Um, cold compresses. Now, this is for engorgement and trying to decrease pain when you're stopping. If you have mm -hmm. breast engorgement from mastitis, you want to use heat and you want to do just the opposite. You want to do, right. use heat and you want to pump a lot yeah, to get the milk if you're out of there. To stop but if you stop breastfeeding, it. yeah, you want to bind. And a lot of women will do this because they can put this in their bras. Is they'll you know uh, get a cold cabbage leaf and put that in there, and really? that'll help. It's I know, a natural. It sounds funny. It's it kind of sounds long, funny, but it's a natural been, compress. Been if you're worried about having wilty vegetables in your bra, you may not want to try this. <laughs> but you may just want to go with the cold compress and, bu and binding. But anti-inflammatories, it will again go on its own. Sometimes though, but we can prescribe a certain medication to help alleviate that if it's really painful. And if you're still leaking after a certain amount of time, like about three months, then you do want to also, again, consult your doctor about, you know, maybe taking a, a prescription medication or something like that. So it but, is important to, to hear what Lisa said. It yeah. can take months. It can take months a while. Okay, thank you so much. Adorable. Thank you. Thank you so much.